Hello, my comic book brethren. This is Julius Freeman. Welcome to Talking Comics. It's been a while. Uh, that's right. I'm still here, still hustling, making comics, and building the foundation of a lucid comic production brick by brick. I'll have some news, exciting news for you in the coming months. So if you want to know what that news will be, uh, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram for those updates because some exciting stuff is in the pipelines for you guys. Seriously, a lot of exciting stuff. So subscribe, uh, follow me. Links are in the descriptions below. Now, before I get into the topic at hand, I want to just uh, take a little bit of time to share my gratitude to you, the readers who backed the Good Old Dragon campaign. Uh, let me just say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Without your support, the life you pumped into a lucid comic production would never have come to fruition. It, that's for sure. It's because of your support. Because you helped make Ghetto Dragon successful. Um, it's the reason why my new project, Vigilant Fury, exists today. And for that, I'm, I'm grateful. And I hope you support me for this new venture, this new story, which I am the writer of. And the legend in the video working on this badass cover is Anthony Gambino, the book's artist. I um, was prompted to make this video after watching his process video uh, because I thought it'd be neat to share with you guys the backstory of our uh, collaboration. Back uh, a few months, or maybe like a year ago, when I had the idea for Vigilant Fury brewing in my fragile eggshell mind, I uh, sent a tweet out uh, looking for an artist for this one-shot uh, one shot comic. And Gambino was uh, one of many, excuse me, who threw his name in the hat. At first glance, uh, I confess, I wasn't entirely convinced that his style would be the right fit for this story at first at first but as you can see from the video his attention to detail at closer inspection is outstanding and he has a great director's eye which is a comic book writer's dream you want to work with an artist like that and it became obvious real fast that his his style actually uh, would be the perfect fit for this particular story so I reached out to him I pitched him the story and he loved it. In fact, he was really excited about it, which only got me even more hyped because you you always want as a writer to work with an artist who is excited to draw uh, your story. It, it, it makes the process, uh, the collaborative process anyway, all the more fun. Uh, this cover here that you are seeing him uh, draw out a, is the byproduct of a healthy collaboration. The other commendable thing about Gambino, uh, again watching uh, the video, is his dedication to drawing comics on paper. And uh, and that's not a knock on digital artists in the least, okay? So don't come at me, bro. You know what I mean? Because I do admire a lot of digital artists that are out there in the field today. And I hope in the near future uh, to one day work with a few of them. But saying that, it's still nice to work with someone during the digital age anyway who still draws comics with pen to paper uh, as, as do I write you know my plot ideas or character studies on a notebook before I start typing on the computer uh, one last thing I want to say about Gambino is he's been extremely easy to get along with from the get-go which is an important factor in a comic book collaboration by the way if something doesn't click between the writer and artist, the more unlikely you'll get a, uh, a bad product in the end, or, or worse, the project falls apart. But when there is a click, when there is, you know, a, a connection of sorts, an artistic connection, I guess you can say, then there's magic. And guys, believe me when I say, and Gambino will vouch for me, I have one hell of an action-packed slobber knocker comic 
waiting for you guys. You're going to get the best of the best. If you're a fan of the action in Frank Miller comics, or you enjoy the gritty approach in a Brian Alzarello comic book, for instance, mixed with the first Die Hard movie and the action from one of my favorite martial arts movies, uh, The Raid, then Vigilant Fury is right up your alley. Uh, this project is a one-shot, action-packed, 80-plus page, bloody, thrilling action adventure story about a woman surviving the worst case scenario, being kidnapped. If that's something you may be looking for, then sign up for the pre-launch or back to the project when it goes live on June 20th, only on Indiegogo. Link again in the description below. And if you sign up to the pre-launch, by the way, you'll get a free print. So you get something for nothing just for signing up, just for putting in your email address and hitting send and but in a few weeks, you'll get yourself a uh, free print of Vigilant Fury. Uh, more details are in the, uh, the link below. So as I mentioned to you guys earlier, it's because of your support of the Good Old Dragon campaign that Vigilant Fury has become a reality to produce. If you can help make Vigilant Fury an even bigger success than the Good Old Dragon, <laughs> guys, you can only imagine what else elusive comic production will have in store for you and i have lots and lots of stories in store for you and i'm excited and eager to share them with you and i hope you give me the opportunity to do that by helping me grow the brand elusive comic because i guarantee you if you back me if you back julius freeman and you and you support elusive comic you're going to get nothing but high quality comic book stories every single time that's that's my my pledge to all of you so just know dear reader when you pick up a lucid comic you not only will pick up just any old comic book no you're going to be taken on a fantastic voyage to the edge of imagination so you know hop on there's plenty of room enjoy the ride so uh, with that said, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this was a lot of fun. There'll be more to come. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for the latest updates that are coming soon. And again, links are in the description below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.